Why, yes. The hauling bots, in fact, are crabs now. Thank you for asking. Uh, no further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> That's... That is really good. That's incredible. Yahar! Bucko ship's the name, and... Save Our Ship 2 is the game. We actually don't have a name for Bucko Ship, now that I think about it. That's a lot of pressure to open things up with today. My God. We could call it the Deirdre's Revenge 4, but given how... A Deirdre's for rank one through three ended. I think I'm going to be doing that one. We could call it the Buccaneer, but I like the idea of the galley being called the Buccaneer. What about the most reliable, untouchable, indestructible name going? The HBS, which obviously stands for his Bucko ship, Ice Wolf. <laughs> We're doomed. We're doomed. It's over. But my God, maybe we'll go down in a blaze of glory. Well, I say that, the regular Ice Wolf tends to... I mean, just tends to peter out, you know, dies tragically to a... Throw a knife to the face, something really dull. So we are moving ever closer to the Save Our Ship Endgame Gold, whatever that is. But what we did achieve yesterday is building a planet-side base. <laughs> the thing we opened this very series with. And that very same planet-side base was bombarded with psychic waves, which we tracked to this satellite. This satellite, filled with so many mechanoids, I... I can't even get close. We're getting <laughs> we're getting absolutely destroyed out here. And we're entirely out of resources now. Barely any silver, gold, uranium. We've got no steel or plasteel, nothing to make advanced components with. This is it. This is what we gotta try and fight them with. We're gonna open strong. Fallout war on the mechanoids are sending everybody but Haynes and the Omnissiah. Mainly because their guns are just god awful. Well, I say that, it's a giant war casket minigun. Uh, in hindsight, maybe we won't send Bucko. Captain always goes down with the ship. Yeah, he's not going to fist fight any damn mechanoids. There you go. That'll do. What a squad. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to land at the very top of the ship. Then we're going to run into the center of the ship and use it as cover. And if the middle of it gets shot by a centipede, I will cry. I will cry a sad tear. Here we go, team. No pressure. All right, everybody, everybody piss off. All, right, all of you piss off. Give me that shuttlecraft. Here we go. War were declared. Okay, nice work, nice work, nice work. Uh, I, I'm going to ask you to bloody block the middle thing. I don't know what we're here to hack. I don't know what we're here to get, but I assume this is important. Get him, squad. Get him, squad. These centipedes are so fucking tanky. Bring him over to this side. Oh, God. We're about to be surrounded. Oh, kill that one, maybe. Kill that one. Kill that one. Come on. Bring it down fast. There you go. Nice work. Nice work. What's this one on? 50%. Centipede at the top. 54. 95. Kill that one. No, no, no. Don't shoot the shuttlecraft. Oh, my God. Shuttle, get out of there. Land. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at it. The course rifles are pounding through them. Oh, <laughs> oh, poor choice of words. Oh no, I'm stuck. What are you doing, Step Gorse Rifle? Ah! Oh! No! Shit! Oh, was that ruined it? Was that, is that like actually ruined it though? Is, is that, is that the end of everything? Oh, god damn it. Well, we'll see what happens here. Well, plus that our people aren't getting annihilated, so I feel a little bit better about things. We're doing really well. Who'd have thought a little bit of armor penetration against a giant death bot might have made all the difference? Crazy, I know. Oh, Dougie! Shit! Uh, Dougie, 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 get in the shuttle. Get in the shuttle, Dougie. Dougie, I'm, I'm gonna have to politely ask you to piss off. Like, like, get in the, get in the fucking shuttle. No, ignore the centipede. Okay. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Let's press forward a little bit. Let's kill, let's kill these last few centipedes. Head in, Kroom. Not well. Nine hours. We're gonna have to finish this off and get out of here bloody fast. There it is. There it is. The final centipede. Push through. Oh, this is danger. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, there you go. There you go. Come on, finish the job. Oh, poor Kroom right in the jaw. It's over. It's over. What did we get out of this? Can we claim these? We can't claim them. We can't deconstruct them either because the main thing got destroyed. Um, was this all for nothing? Was was that it? Is is this is this the end? Well, regardless of what happens, let's get our people back right away. We need to get them out of here. They need urgent medical attention. Some of them haven't even got defense from space anymore. Oh shit! It can't take off because it's under a roof. Ah. Okay. This is going to be speed run time. Fly, little shuttle. Fly, 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 fly. Doggy's life is on the line. Doggy, 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 doggy. Are we, are we, are we under a roof? We're under a roof. We're under a roof. How about there? How about there? Undraft? Sit down. Sit, kid. Right, send him. Get out of here. Get on the pod. Doggy. Doggy! Rescue, rescue, doggy. Uh, carry him to the shuttle. Do something. Please. I just got to rely on them to pick. Uh, they, they've got to carry them back to the shuttle. I have to rely on them to pick them up. Red Fox is on it. Red Fox is on it. 
There we go, there we go. Come on, Kroom! Fucking hell! No urgency, these people. No goddamn urgency. Kroom had his jaw shot off. Dougie's on the floor. Eyes bulging out of his skull. Unreal. Unreal. Ken's naked. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? Oh, I didn't send Ken. Oh my god, I thought all his armor fell off. Well, I think the worst part is it was all a complete waste of time. Salvage the enemy ship. What do we actually get out of it? Uh, exotic particles. Hello there. Okay, maybe that's what we were after. Well, either way, I'm taking my fucking gauze rifles back. Give me those. Barely any uranium, which is a bit of a concern. Not too pleased about that one. Uh, give me the... Oh, actually, oh, hang on, hang on. Where are those exotic particles? Give me those. Uh, we don't need the water. Thank you. And I'll take the rest in ship chunks and hope that will cover some of the bill. Okay. And at long last, we finally finished what we set out to do yesterday. So, um, <laughs> slightly running behind schedule there. We do have to rebuild a lot. That wasn't a fight that we got away with entirely. Got a few heat sinks to replace there. Now, I gotta, I'm got just, i just going to get this out of the way right now. Loads of people in the comment section. Oh, you've got to build thermal conduits between the rooms. Whoa. Yes, of course I know that. Okay. I've just run it along the edges of the ship where you're barely going to see it. There's a lot of redundancies here. It's all connected. Yes, this bit isn't connected. It was connected at the end of yesterday. Before I started today, I threw down some ship vents and realized I couldn't build it anyway. So this was all connected. Don't panic. Someone else in the comments said, oh, typical Mr. Streamer probably didn't use the powered ship hole. I was told not to use the powered ship hole because apparently it's laggy. There's another inside me, there are two wolves problem. Inside me, there are two wolves. Both have pirate madness. Ah, oh, thank you, crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Just that one change has made it so much better, huh? Just completely changed this pirate ship dynamic. Now, I think today, Bucko is gonna be the biggest, bravest space pirate you've ever seen. I think it's finally time we get rid of the cloaking device. I think it's time we reveal ourselves to the world. You know, like a YouTuber would. <laughs> ah, oh, small mechanoid sphere. Isn't that what we fought last time? Let's see what this is. Small mechanoid sphere. Because I assume we would have to... Uh, oh. Well, that's definitely not what we fought before. I was going to say, I seem to get another one of those ships to spawn that we that we fought yesterday. We would have to set up another base on the planet, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, I won't lie. Get it, Bucko! I think it may have escaped. Oh, it has not escaped. Holy shit! <laughs> Are we even going to get any salvage out of that? That was a, that was a massacre. It was a complete... You know what? Not bad. Cleaner space stations. I mean, we don't need that. The steel slag chunks is actually going to be a lot of resources. I mean, they haven't got anything else to do, right? Oh! Oh, God. Crab bots. Please deal with this. This is a goddamn mess. What a complete mess. <laughs> Look at them go, though. So along with being the bravest pirate you've ever done seen, I'm also going to throw down a little research lab because there's still a lot of research we haven't done and to get to those endgame victory conditions, I think we're probably going to need one. So let's throw down... Somewhere as a research bench. Bear with me. If only there was a search function. Finally, the end game research we've needed all these years. Piano. What do we actually have, though? Uh, good garbage. Oh, you know what? Multi-split air conditioning from Tubs Bad Hygiene might actually do something for us here. Oh, yeah. Let's let's get Rimmerfella set up while we've got some, some quiet time here. I think I'll get rid of some of these ecosystems because, quite honestly, we have a uh, staggering amount of food right now. Uh, hey there, crabs. What are you guys doing out here, huh? Going for a, it's going for a bit of a walk. <laughs> ah, what, what, why? So hopefully with this, nobody will throw themselves into any more engines trying to refuel it. I know life isn't perfect, okay? Bucko drinks trying his best. You don't need to jump into the damn engine to escape. So with this thing, in theory, we put the chem fuel on there. That will suck the chem fuel up into the storage, and then that should be piped to all of the engines that need it. These are nuclear engines, though, so. That's not going to take fuel from that. So they'll start to manually refuel those. And those are the things that people are killing themselves on. So really, it hasn't helped at all. <laughs> what a fantastic idea. On the plus side, it'll automatically refuel all of the other engines. And the canary as well should be refueled by it too. So let's say urgent refill on that one. Because, you know, I'd argue that's probably, that was probably damn important. And then chem fuel for critical. There we go. Ah, oh, and here's the crab with it now. There you go. So that'll dump it into the system, and then that's dumping it uh, God knows where. I assume we're refueling some of these engines anyway. Okay, that's pretty good. That's going to save us a lot of time. Oh, but it can. Can you good? But it can... Did his wheelchair get destroyed? Ken, what's going on? Uh... 
It just doesn't have one. What about Ken's wheelchair? Whoa. Okay, that one sounds pretty massive. An afterlife casket. Construct a life support system capable of reviving deceased brains, allowing dead colonists to live again as holographic avatars. That's what happened with the Omnissiah. And that's what she should have been. Her brain should have been in a jar somewhere. That's why she kind of broke the game. Because <laughs> we didn't have the original brain and it was freaking out. I mean, that's... Uh, we've got to take it. That way, if Bucko Drink dies, we can... We can bring him back. We have the technology. Well, I mean, unless he jumps into an engine, at which point we definitely do not have the technology. Hey! Hi, Ted Rednick. Stolen Ken's wheelchair. <laughs> He's going for a fucking joyride. What is wrong with you? Now, I, um, might have made a fundamental error with the armor that our people were wearing. Turns out I'd accidentally got the equip backwards, so they were limited to wearing armor that was 50% health or lower, rather than 50% health or higher. <laughs> it, was, it was an honest, simple mistake. I just accidentally dragged the slider the wrong way. That's fine, okay? I mean, I mean, it wasn't fine. Probably explains why we're getting shredded by the centipedes. Wasn't ideal, but everything's okay now. You see, everybody's outfit. Everybody's fine. We've got plenty of resources left over. It wasn't a big deal. Everybody's okay. And that is all of the research completed. Well, with the exception of Cat's Fract Armor and Bio Regeneration. Cat's Fract Armor is a weird one to lead to last. And, of course, all of the Save Our Ship specific Arco... What was it called? Arco Uplink? Yeah, so we do need all of that as well, which I think we just missed out on by... That ship can't go in the way it did. Someone did leave a comment, though, that leaves me with a little bit of hope. They said we might not need a fully functional base. All we need is a site on the world map. So what we could do is just go down there, settle, and then take off in a ship and fly everybody back and just leave an active world site going because that can still be bombarded with things like like uh, psychic droners. So I guess I'll just do that. And and I don't want to build another base, especially because, A, we did it yesterday, and uh, B... We might end up blowing up the Arco Uplink again, assuming that is what happened with that last thing. But then the question is, what do we do now? I think this is a glorious moment. Not a moment of sitting around twiddling our thumbs, but a moment of reveal to the world. Captain Bucko Drink takes out the cloaking device, or maybe we just disable it, because it might be handy if we get blown to smithereens. We turn off the cloaking device and we say, here we are, world, or in this case, here we are, space. Like, not the world. The world already knows we're there. We fought them for a hundred waves. Here we are, world. Here is Bucko Drink. We're gonna turn it off. Oh, we're gonna turn We're gonna turn it off. Oh, it, it is off. There you go. It's off. Uh, I also want to approach this derelict destroyer. So we need more heat sinks. And I think we need more... Uh, we need more heat sinks. And we need more guns. I would love to get some of those spinal lasers because I think they're the most fun part of Save Our Ship by far. So if we can get two destroyers and we glue one onto this side and one onto this side, that'll look like a pretty goddamn cool spaceship, huh? So I want to come and capture this thing. It's going to take a lot to rebuild it, but I think we've already got quite a lot of resources left over, right? Uh, 4,000 steel. Only 663 plast steel, so it's a bit of a gamble. But my god, what an expansion that'll be. And if we go fast before the bugs ruin too much of it, 31 torpedoes there just casually sitting around in the cargo bay. Crabs, get to work. Hey, go pick up all those torpedoes, you shits. No? Lazy crabs, get to work. So I'm, I'm going to send as many people as we can because we're not going to take this ship apart. We're not going to be doing anything like that. We've got to worry about how much room we've got left on the shuttle. We send everybody, we take out these bugs before they take out this ship. We hack it, we bring it over, weld it on. I think we'll probably take off the radiators here and just glue it right onto the side. And if we can find two of those, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. An exciting occasion. Oh, shields are still on. Wow, it's like really intact then, huh? Where's the bridge? Is it not like right here? So we could just pop in through this this wall here, claim it, and then we fight the insects after we brought the ship back here. I think that should work. Well, hello. Oh Jesus. Okay. <laughs> it was a little dangerous. Uh, excuse me. Little little shuttle. I need you to. Oh God. I need you to get indoors away from those bloody turrets. Ah. Uh... Probably didn't need to send the whole squad if we we're just going to hack it, but we might as well be safe here. You know, like when we fought those mechanoids yesterday and I lined everybody up in a, in a straight line and prayed. My favorite strategy. Ah! Oh, you little shit, you get away from that. I suppose we probably should be careful with the whole gorse rifle thing we got going on here. Ah, oh, don't shoot the bridge. Ah! Oh. Okay. Uh, you, you uh, step up, high-tech redneck. This is yours. Hack failed, you moron. 
We've got time for this. Uh, I can send everyone else to go kill some bugs. Are they doing any damage, though? Because, I mean, if they're just leaving it alone, I'm not really too bothered. They've already destroyed the reactor. Hey, there you go. Right, get it back. Capture the destroyer. Then all we need is one more. Okay, and I want to glue it on like, like that. You know what? It would be better. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe that's not too bad. It's going to say maybe better to get it connected up to there. But then it's a little close to the base of the ship. Or is it sticking off at the side like this? Looks like we've got a giant fucking Gundam. So I'm in. Take it. Are we able to install it there? No, no, no. Why not? Why? Hey. Ah! Come on. The dub 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 the suspense. <laughs> it's palpable. Ah! Oh, what a ship this is gonna be. Now imagine that on the other side. Tell me this is not it's gonna be the best ship you've ever seen. Mark my words. And then we say search and destroy, little war casket. Search and destroy. This is our ship now. All I will say is please be careful with the gorse weapons. What the hell are they? Why are they? Why are you charging in there, huh? Why you gotta be a hero? No! My crabs! Oh, Bucko, what are you doing? Bucko woke up today and chose violence. You're not supposed to be in here. What the hell is he doing? Oh, he's trying to reach the fire. Okay, I'm gonna walk him past. I don't like the idea of firing off a mortar inside a spaceship. We're actually gonna be the next words out of my mouth. You absolute fanny. That was 23 advanced components gone in smoke. You're a terrible space pirate, Captain. Someone's got to say it. This is going to take a lot of rebuilding and restoration, but I think it'll look pretty cool. I I'm still very much on board, even if it's going to cost us all of our resources to do it. And then I had Livingston, I think it was. Obviously, fly down here, settle, quote unquote, and then fly back. So hopefully that's all we need to, uh, to get those psychic waves to hit. Then we get the Arco uplink and we're golden. So I did a little building off camera. More specifically, it's been an entire season over an entire season since we captured the destroyer. The destroyer, by the way, incidentally, is looking incredible. Of course, part of Bucko's ship now. And many, many heat sinks and coolers still being built on the entire thing. And it's a, it's a very, very, very long progress. I had a lot of issues with trying to make sure the roof was on it. Turns out if there are damaged wholesales, say beneath a wall, that will count towards it not being roofed. So that was a fun job trying to track down what the hell was causing problems there. And then there's Livingston. Poor sweet Livingston, who is Livingston his best life here on the planet's surface. Because despite the fact someone in the comments section said, hey, you don't need a base. You don't need people down there. You can still be hit by a psychic drone. Ah, uh, you can't. I tested it with dev mode. It's not possible. And literally within days of sending this guy down here and building this base, we've been hit by, we've been struck by, none other than a psychic amplifier. Granted, it took a month. Maybe it was purely a coincidence. I don't know. Maybe it was purely a coincidence that it fired naturally after a month. I'm not sure. But what we do have is a second chance for what I'm hoping is the Arco Tech uplink. Let's engage the psychic amplifier with our new side ship going on here. And the cool part about the side ship too is we've got the shields in such a way now that we're going to have like this hex when we get another destroyer. That is a hex of shields covering the whole ship. So this middle section will be completely unshielded. That means that we can vent freely all of that extra heat, all of the radiation, assuming I remember to turn off the cloaking device, which is something I might have neglected last time. <laughs> Full speed ahead, Captain Bucko. We've got mechanoids to shoot down, but maybe don't shoot them as thoroughly as we shot them last time. We need them in uh, some sort of piece here. Get them. Kill him dead. Look at this. What a combat. Oh, shit. Are we good? Are the shields? The shields are holding. The heat is dissipating bloody fast as well. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, this is good. What a showdown. My god, the firepower. We're in laser range. We already know we can beat this ship. It's whether or not with all the alterations we can keep that same sort of pressure on them. And you know what? I do think we're venting heat faster than we were before. It's dropping bloody fast. And that's all thanks to this incredible radiator array in the middle that lets us vent heat while we're in the middle of combat, which is something you're not really supposed to do. How are we looking? How are we looking? We're through! We're already through! Okay, okay, Bucko, Captain Bucko, my good friend Bucko, my boy. Let's change target so that we are focusing specifically on these laser arrays. Those are the things that drain our shields the most. Those are the things that do the most damage. Yar! Okay, careful though. Careful there, little bucko. We don't want to get too carried away here. Oh, hauling bot nine! You moron! 
I know exactly what bloody hauling bot nine just did. Now, to be fair, I did make a little bit of a faux pas, which is French for roughly a little fucky wucky. I did build the nuclear reactor immediately adjacent to this thing that puts out heat, not you know, immediately below it, but actually slightly to the side as well. So I had my engines blowing up my engines and then my hauling bot crabs trying to haul the very same components of those engines. Oh, poor crab. Bucko, change targets. Let's go for this array down here. And then we've only got one more to go. And I think at that point, we could probably send out a boarding party relatively safely. We'll get it to that stage again where we're not going to be able to drain off shields as fast as the heat will dissipate in the first place, right? And you know what? We're almost kind of getting to that stage now. 28,000 is, is more or less the peak. And that's going to wipe out a whole other laser grid there. Okay. Okay, I think that's all of their weapons disabled at this point. You know what? We've kept enough of it intact. I might take out these two just to be very safe. But we've kept enough of their ship intact that even if we don't get this uplink or whatever it is we need, we're going to get so much good salvage from this. There might be something really, really nice to grab from this as well. There we go. There we go. Just deal with these last couple of lasers, and then I think we're absolutely safe. Power is completely cut. I've stopped firing our weapons. Now we need a landing squad. How many centipedes are we up against, realistically? Only four, but last time we landed, they all popped out of this middle section. So still send the biggest squad we possibly can. Really, we need another shuttle. Either a second shuttle or a larger shuttle would be quite nice. Now, because we haven't peppered this ship quite so much, there's plenty of very sensible cover as well. I'm just going to stand in a straight line and hope for the best. <laughs> Ideally, if we could get through to this middle section. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Okay, here they come. Let's maybe take a line up here then. I was going to say we'll try and break through to that middle section. But if something happens to our people, I want to be able to get in the shuttle and fly away fast. Let's make sure we're not under a roof here. Falling for that far too many times. There we go. I think we should be safe there. All right, squad. Good luck, team. I think we might have this in the bag a little bit more now that we've actually got workable weapons. Oh, I'm not a big fan of this. I won't lie. Let's go for that centipede. Ken! Ken, where's your weapon? I see when he fell out of his wheelchair, he didn't re-equip really something. Has anybody got a spare weapon on them? Uh, the Ominous Eye has a revolver. Hilarious. <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. I can't deny that much. You've got a taser. Uh, that really is the best of the best of the bunch, huh? Okay, we'll go and get that revolver. Uh, let's get let's get some good work going here, Ken. I said right now it's taking a couple of hits, but should be fine. Man, these centipedes are going down a lot easier now. We've got actual armor penetrating weapons so far. Look at that. Go for the scythers. Go for the scythers. As long as we keep them at range, we're going to be set here. Come on, come on. How's that shuttle looking? Fine. Okay, actually pretty decent help to say that we're basically using it as cover. Okay, another centipede down. Look at them. Look at them go, our brave soldiers. Uh, three centipedes down here, all of which are fairly tanky. What have we got there? A couple of pintmen. I, I do think the centipedes are probably a higher priority right now. Man, we are absolutely shredding them. Oh, high tech redneck. Come on. You can hold out. Just hold out until we've dealt with this. It won't be long, I promise. Come on. Just kill it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. If we aim at this one, hopefully we'll hit the one behind. Who can't hit target? It's Neo. Neo, get down here. Maybe we could get to cover. <laughs> as bizarre as that idea may sound. Take up arms, Ken. That, that revolver probably isn't doing much, pal. I appreciate that you're here and helping out. Look, we can hit both of them with the gorse rifles. Oh, the shuttle. It's okay. We can build a fresh one. It's okay. I'm not too concerned. Oh, and that right there is the final centipede down. Well done, squad. Oh, is that all of them? No. Oh, it's actually over. There's a single scyther just out there, kind of. <laughs> just kind of floating in space, minding its own business, really. High tech redneck is back upon her feet. So I assume, you know what? There's actually very little dam damage. No one's at risk of bleeding out. My God, uh, bruises and burns. The burns, incidentally, are from them fighting fires inside the ship from where the heat got so high. Other than that, wow, this is insane. Obviously, we've still got a lot of people still damaged from the culmination of everything that's happened so far. But people are fine. Holy crap. And this is this is ours. I mean, if nothing else, look at the amount of bloody vanimetric power cells we've picked up here. We did lose our shuttlecraft, but the amount of salvage we get is going to more than make up for it. Let's go to the middle of the ship and see what we get. And this time we know it's intact. Okay. There it is. What do we do now? Do, do we still... I, I assume we still hack it. We do indeed still hack it. Omnissiah, this job is yours, my friend. Everyone else can undraft and self-tend. 
Is this it? Are, are we actually in the end game now? This would be incredible. Come on. There it is. Psychic amplifier hacked. Wow. Your crew seizes control of the orbital amplifier systems and redirects the incoming signals to your ship's AI. A few moments later, your intrusion is detected and the signal abruptly terminates. Your hacking curse is out loud, but the AI interrupts with a triumphant report. It has gathered all the data it requires. You now possess the blueprints for the Arcotech Spore, a sort of incubator which will gradually allow a consciousness to evolve into an Arcotech. With its help, you could research Ultratech projects. Wow, thank you. Here's the real question. Can I claim some of this stuff? Look at this, anti-entropic heatsink. Is that something we need to perhaps research? If we can get it at some point, I'm happy just to scrap the ship and move on. But if that's something unique, uh, anti-entropics, yeah, it is something we can get eventually. Wowee. Okay, then fine. Very bare minimum, of course. I, I do need to take these vanimetric power cells, but if we can't install this stuff, we're, we'll just deconstruct it for parts. And I think everybody is roughly on board. We might as well just capture it then, huh? Capture it, bring it over here. I mean, gluing it back together and climbing it that way would be incredible, but of course we don't have the the Arco set components we need to build it. So we'll bring it in here for the purposes of deconstruction. We'll salvage whatever's left over. We'll do it the old-fashioned way with our crab bots. You know, the way real astronauts... Ah! Uh, don't do that, though. <laughs> horrible. Truly a horrible experience. <laughs> <laughs> but as we all know, the hardest choices require the strongest wills. In this case, of course, I don't just want a tiny bit of plasteel or a teensy bit of gold. I want all of it. This is for Bucko Drink. We take everything. <laughs> the ship appears to be a colony ship. Oh, God. That that takes a, a jump from piracy to full-on war crime. I'm not sure we're going to do that. I don't I don't think Bucko Drink is inherently a bad person. I think he just wants, he just loves money. It's not a crime to love money. There are landlords, bankers, YouTubers. They do that all the time legally. Well, some of them don't. <laughs> okay, a lot of them don't, okay? And yes, I agree we could attack the colony ship and probably be less morally reprehensible than a landlord. But in this case, I feel like that's too far for Bucko. He is a relatively innocent guy who's just defended himself for the most part. So besides our, hopefully, imminent victory here, the final things I want to do, of course, is capture another destroyer so that we can glue it on to the other side of the ship. That way we've got this this really nice amalgam ship made of, what, five different things. Bear in mind we had a ship in the middle. We had the original space station I built. Destroyer on the side and the top, and then hopefully the left-hand side as well. So a kind of merge of five ships there, which would be kind of an awesome design. But while we're scanning for that, ideally we want to crack out this research, huh? What, so we still can't do it because we're lacking that architect uplink. How do we get that? It did say it affected our AI somewhat. We do have a new button there for generate hologram, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, well. I could give it a go, I suppose. Rename AI. A guiding force for this vessel. The sentient supercomputer at the heart of Bucko's empire. A name to represent technological supremacy and the enlightenment of man. You shall be named Bingus. <laughs> Generate. Oh! The hologram of Bingus. Oh, you look nothing like... Oh, that's the attitude. Um. <laughs> it's a naked middle-aged man with skull tattoos and a very catchy catchphrase. Welcome aboard, uh, Bingus. <laughs> ah, what I expected. Not what I expected, but here we are. Oh, he has a hologram laser. What is that? Oh, it's a laser. Shocking. Is it perhaps the AI that we have to get to research? Have we even perhaps unlocked a new building? Maybe. Possibly. Ah! We have indeed Arcotech Spore. This thing seems very important. I, I feel like this should be at the middle of the ship somewhere. Maybe... Oh, Lord. I, I mean, I, I think it should be in here. I almost feel like I should move the Buccaneer and replace it with this. It would fit perfectly there. 
And the real question is, do we even need the Buccaneer anymore? I would like to keep it around. Why don't we just uninstall it? And then if we need another, we'll just build the hangar bay. It is finally time, Bucko Drink, much like an esoteric subreddit, to release your spores all over the spaceship. Here we go. Oh! What is the chance of such things occurring even? Probably fairly high. I can't imagine there are that many derelicts in the game. My god. This is an opportune time. Uh, assuming the game doesn't crash. Hello there. Uh, okay. Bugs, I assume. If there are no bugs, we might be able to take more of it intact than usual. Uh, looks if it's just a bunch of very angry people. Heavy cargo shuttle. We can afford to build a couple of those. You know what? I think I may just do that very same thing. What, what do they cost? 124 80, 16, 6. Uh, yeah, I think it's fairly safe to say we can afford that. 552 advanced components. This series is going to ruin me for every other playthrough in the future. And this, my friends, I think is the perfect place to leave it for today. On the precipice of greatness, Bucko's ascension to Arco-leveled Pirate Captain King X Samurai Bucko drink. It's imminent. It's inevitable. It's green. It's very green. A kind of pea green color. Tomorrow we will find out the consequences of our actions, man's hubris, pirate captain's hubris, and discover whether or not Bucko is worthy to be Arco Pirate Captain Space Pirate Captain Samurai Bucko Drink. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And thank you for being patient over the past few days. Fortunately, my real life woes are solved. They're not, but I'm going to pretend they are because that makes life somewhat more bearable. Thank you. To those who make life the most bearable of all, the patrons. Thank you to... <laughs> Please don't tell at least that. Thank you to JT, 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 Retile, The Cat Lover 366, Bobson, Dugnut, Star 69er, Hobo, Billy Joel, Elias, Gordy Number 1, Zetlock, The Longhoff, Man of Many Fates, Ice Wolf, Barnikin's Milk, Laffy, I'm Sagatair, Grim, Evan Crocker, Namo, and Rage Dragon for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you all for your support over there. Thank you. Much obliged and appreciated, perhaps. Thank you to Edgemere, Angry Ares, Quagasol, Revan, Red Noah, Nat Nart, Black Frame, Ben, Ice Cream, Fatigable, Bilbo Fraggins, Amanda, Yohano, Castrian, Sinker, Black Magic, Lunatic, and Epilogue, in addition to all of those other people who are over on the Patreon. Thank you. I have plans for you all next series. Terrible, unspeakable plans. This is your final warning. <laughs>